Hello. I'd like to show off my latest synthesizer, stroke, tone generator, stroke, box of noise, really. Um, this is the latest and greatest. I've made a few in the past, but with every design, um, I like to try and slim thin things down in terms of the controls as best as possible. And this is the latest result. It's got the speaker, it's got a big arcade button, and it's just got one potentiometer to help change the characteristics of each tone. I've previously used an Arduino, but I find that really difficult at the minute. I'm not sure why. I'm more comfortable working with Python, and these little chaps here, the micro bits, are ideal um, because it allows me to code in MicroPython. Now, I had a broken one of these. It was still limping along, but various sensors and other bits and bobs weren't working. So I decided to see what I, what I could get out of it, and this is the result. So it runs off a BBC micro bit, and from then on, we uh, I, I'm able to generate a couple of tones and take advantage of the pins that still work. Also, the um, tilt sensor in it still works as well. So I'm using that to control the notes and generate the tempo and other characteristics, as well as the potentiometer here. Like with all my boxes at the minute, that it's 3D printed, but I never print. For some reason, I never make them um, as deep as, uh, as they're required. And as a result, I can't fit the battery in. So at the minute, it just has a, um, a USB cable trailing out of, the, out of its backside, um, which makes it good because it allows me to keep programming it without taking the back off. Um, and uh, I will eventually get round to building a separate battery case that fixes to the back so it's easier to fit into the hand. So let's see what it sounds like. So if I hook it up to a battery, okay. Um, it's activated by just pressing the big red button, as you can see, and we can use the potentiometer and the tilt to change the notes. And you can get some pretty good, pretty good tunes out of it, actually. So there you go. Anyway, this is how I made it.